Hello everyone, welcome back, Neon Blue here. Today we're going to be playing uh, some Extended with this new deck that I made. Now, I just got back into Pokemon, and this deck is by no means a good deck. No means a good deck, but it is really, really funny. Uh, so that's why I made it. Uh, the main idea behind this deck are these two, this guy. This guy right here, Mew EX. Um, and it has the ability Versatile, this Pokemon can use attacks of any Pokemon and play both yours and your opponent. Uh, a replace barely ever gets used, if not never gets used. I don't think I've ever, like, legitimately used replace. I mean, I have, I think I did once, but, you know, it's kind of a waste of move. Um, and then Shedinja. Uh, now, Shedinja has a move called Hopeless Scream. Because Shedinja has 30 HP, it has an attack that does 50 damage times the number of damage counters on this Pokemon. Now, you see, that's pretty mediocre by itself. However, uh, with Mew was 120 HP... Getting, getting, getting damages, getting moves that take one energy to do, like, 150, uh, and, like, 400 damage often, um, it's pretty easy. Uh, you just have to get set up correctly. Uh, to help us set up, we have Acrobikes. Uh, oh, also, Mr. Mime, because Shininja has such low HP, we have to use a Mr. Mime in order to set up a bench barrier, which protects my uh, Pokemon from being affected uh, while they're on the bench, which is very helpful. Um, Acrobike just helps us, um, you know, get things done. I'm going to make a real quick change. I really have not been liking Poke Gear, and I've been a big fan of Random Receiver. Um, Acrobike, very good card. Especially because you can't use supporters first turn. This will help you set up first turn if you choose to go first, which you want to with this deck because you want to get set up. Acrobite will just let you look at things off the top, get what you want. Battle Compressor is if you have a VS Seeker and no supporters in your discard pile, which we have, um, I believe, four of. Yeah, four VS Seekers in here. We have an Energy Reset uh, because we want to be able to attach energies to our Muse. The way we get damage on our Muse, by the way is Frozen City. Uh, Frozen City uh, was made back in Team Plasma days, uh, and you would play it from your hand, and it'd sit on the battlefield, uh, and it would deal damage to Pokemon over time. And this would normally be a bad thing, unless you were running a Team Plasma deck. However, uh, it's good for us, because we can simply attach energies to Pokemon in order to rack up damage on them, like our Mew. So we attach one energy and it's two counters, attach two and it's 40, and we're already at 400 damage. Uh, so Frozen City, uh, so the ideal setup here is Frozen City, Ninkata, Mew. And then those are what you need for the deck to basically work, uh, and obviously some energies. So we have this energy reset to return the relatively small amount of energies we have to our hand. Um, Escape Rope's just a good utility card. Evo Soda helps us evolve, evolve our Ninkatas. Um, Field Blower is just good removal, because there are a lot of things that'll deal with stadiums, like that, uh, there's this one stadium that will just destroy both stadiums if it gets replaced. Um, Trainer's Mail is just, just one of the best, best cards in the game. You just look at the top four cards, get a trainer card. Ultra Ball will help us get the piece, the missing pieces we need. It can also be a supporter, basically, because of the Dene. Uh, VS Seeker helps us. Colrus is a good thing to have in your discard pile if you want a VS Seeker for it, because sometimes it'll shuffle you and get you two, but sometimes it'll shuffle you and get you ten, which is just good. Now, again, real quick. Lysen. Um, one Guzma, one Lysander, uh, in order to bring up Pokemon. Sometimes you need Guzma, sometimes you need Lysander, so it's good to have a variety. N. N is a good card. Um, it just shuffles your hand into your deck and then draw cards and it also screws your opponent. It helps you when you're down and it screws your opponent. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's, it's super helpful with card advantage and whatnot. Opal is good to have one of, uh, because sometimes it can just get you the cards that you need. Uh, Sycamore, obviously. Fighting Fury Belt for the Muse. Um, it does a base of one more damage, uh, and it gives them more HP. And then a Float Stone for things that we don't want. In the active position. Now our energies. Recycle energy. Um, it used to just be leaf energies. Um, but we changed that. Because recycle energy. Uh, when it's discarded returns to your hand. So what you can do sometimes. Is you can use it to retreat. And then still have an energy in your hand. Or you can find other ways. 
or even when your Pokemon die, they return to your hand and then you can reattach it. Um, it just it just has a lot of uses, and we don't need uh, we don't need any type of colored uh, colored energies in order to do that. And also we have a Rainbow Energy simply because Rainbow Energy damages you when you enter, so it gets you three counters instead of two when you play it with Frozen City in play. So the idea the idea is you put out your Mew, you pull out Frozen City. Uh, and then you attach energies to it and a rack of damage on it and you use versatile uh, And you use hopeless scream simply now Let's go uh, try this deck out in action All right, so game one against a fighting type deck. I'm going to assume Based on the deck box Would you like to go first? Yes, I will go first. I better watch out you want to see me do it again? Oh, another mulligan. Cool. So now I get to draw two cards. And I get a bench barrier as my lead. Alright. Let's trainer's mail. Hopefully get like an ultra ball. Uh, and we can ultra ball into an Incada. Dude, this man does not know how to click a done button. Does not know how to click a done button. Uh, bad start here. Bad start. Truly a bad start. Trainer's Mail. Um, there it is. Ultra Ball. We're gonna Ultra Ball out an Incada. I should have random received and then got a supporter so that I can discard it for Via Seeker, but alas. It is not much of a deal. To be big, at the very least. Um, Crawdon Power will bite. Alright, so it seems to be not necessarily a stall deck, but much more of a controlling deck. Um, which is good. We do well against those. Mm. Well, Fighting Stadium's not good. You gonna low kick me? It's a low blow. <laughs> you did. <laughs> so, uh, Pokemon Tool Cards. We all then put them into your hand, shuffle your deck afterwards. Yep. Muscle band, lucky helmet. So a muscle band. You're not gonna do enough to kill me. Uh, I I know you believe you can. So that's 40, so that's still just 50. And even if Mr. Mime dies, like, who cares? He's a bench barrier. He doesn't, We. I mean, I, I really don't think this is the kind of deck that's gonna be sniping our Pokemon. 30. Oh, if it's an EX Pokemon, too. Here's what we're gonna do Ultra Ball, get a Dene, and then we'll just we'll draw six. Yes, give me my cards. All right, beautiful. Floats down on you. What are you weak to? Psychic? Yep, then we do this. And we kill him. We could have sycamored first. We probably should have done that, but it's fine. Um, and we'll take our prize card. Thank you very much. We'll sycamore next turn. Uh, okay, and we just gotta wait for them to make their plays. Um, I don't imagine they attack with them this turn. Um, realistically, we have to treat this Pokemon like it has 240. Um, and even higher sometimes if we're gonna try to two hit KO or more him, because he has, uh, takes 30 less from uh, attacks. So, that is very hard to deal with. Well, not hard to deal with, it's just a little bit annoying. It means we need, uh, five counters to deal with him properly. Okay. Sharon. Uh, yeah, that tracks. Sharon's a weird... N no, that doesn't. Sharon's not a competitive card. Something tells me this guy's a little bit more casual. Um, yeah, no. Sharon isn't... doesn't really have a place in the meta. I don't know why he's playing a Sharon. Maybe I'm missing something, because I've been gone for so long. But, okay, well, this guy definitely just needs to 
Hurry up. Thank God. Oh, I'm getting toxic. I can feel it. I guess I take care of that. Sycamore, discard our hand, draw. Into a frozen city. Got that. Ninkata. Um. Yep, damage decreased. He needs to be hit. Once more, likely. Um, we can't, we have to be doing 60 or more damage to knock him out. He has got a very big hand. Which we have an N to deal with, if it becomes more of a problem. Um. So that's good. We are just waiting for him to make his move. He's got a Keldeo, Pure Heart, Final GX, or EX. Putting damage into this Pokemon of your opponent's Pokemon EX or GX. Luckily, uh, Shedinja is grass type and can one shot him if we get a recycle energy. So, it's not anything I'm too worried about. Um, this guy needs like a float stone. There we go, escape rope. Um, who are we gonna bring up? Feel comfortable bringing up the guy with the float stone on him. And then we can judge the situation from there. We have a. What do we have in here? We do not have a Guzma or Lysander, so that sucks. But. You know. It's still a chance. Okay. Um. I just want to know what his plan is, because he's just kind of stalling. Hello, please hurry. I am very impatient. Muscle band. There we go. That doesn't do anything. But sure, muscle band. Uh, okay, draw four cards then. My your turn ends. Cool. Um, I think we just Sycamore here, right? Well, here's what we'll do. At least one of them. And then Sycamore. Why did I do that? Now I just discarded it. Okay. Alright, so we attach that to him. We evolve that. We hopefully get like a... Floatstone, but an escape rope is fine. We retreat into this guy and then KO. Yep. Um, and then we take two prize cards. Easy as that. And we got a floatstone now, so. Truly is Pog Champ. Um, this guy's weak to electric, so there's really no point in. Uh, and doing any grass type moves against him. Um, but, you know how it is? Uh, this guy's weak to electric as well. This guy's weak to grass, but that doesn't make super much of a difference. Um, we can also just retreat him. Sycamore, okay. Um, we still don't have a Lysander or a Guzma. The Goose! Okay, what are you going to do? Dive, flip a coin if heads during your opponent's like torn to that Pokemon. Okay, you're going to knock out my Shedinja. That's fine. Yep. Fine. Please hurry up. Hello. Bruh. There we go. We'll make him, because he's got free retreat. 
Real acro bike. This makes the most sense, trust me. Um, we don't have any bench room. That was a misplay. Oops. Okay. Um, uh, I think we just leave up our guy. I mean, really, what moves can we do? We can do dive. Headbutt, reckless charge, no. No, there's really not a whole lot we can do there because there's a move to effects of damage. Okay. And we'll just uh, let them kill our Mr. Mime. If that's what they choose to do. Bro, Hydro Pump on a basic? Bruh. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, I don't really know what this deck's trying to accomplish. This feels like a starter deck. And we're losing to it. No, we're not losing to it. We're just... Not in an ideal position. Like I would wish to be. We could have escape roped, though. Which we should have done. But we didn't. Of course, them just switching to something. They would have had to switch first, too, but... Alas, we did not. Frogadier. Can this man please, for all that is good in the world, hurry up! I am very frustrated by this. He does not know how to play quickly. Alright, we're gonna just spam it. Tails. Tails? Fine. Heads. Whatever. Okay, trainer's mail. Bruh. He doesn't get it. Mm. Escape rope. You go first. Let's see exactly who you bring up. You're Dredda. Dredna. Yeah. Hello. We'll bring up this. Um, um, we'll put a float still on this one. Um, and we'll just kill it. There we go. That's a Guzma. We can force out his Dreadnought and then win next turn. If all goes according to plan. He could theoretically hydro pump and kill us. Which would not be optimal, but... You know, sometimes things have to happen. And even still, we'll be able to... Deal with this stuff. How many cards you got left in your deck, bud? 14? Alright, and I've got 12, so... You know... You know how it is. Hmm. Boldor. Oh. Yeah, we'll Guzma up and we'll win. Hydro Pump. Not enough to kill. That's awkward. And that's GG's, fellas. Oh, and we take the last two prize cards. That's how the deck's supposed to work. Um, right, so, game two. Um, psychic type deck, I'm assuming. Maybe they just really like psychic types. I don't know. I won the coin flip. Do I want to go first? Yes. Um, usually want to go first with this deck. Not bad. We started with a Mew. And that's really all you need. 
And a frozen city. That's good too. Ultra Ball Pog. No, we'll take a we'll take a Lysander though. Okay, Lysander. You should have taken Sycamore. Now we have a Sycamore. Now we're chilling. Unfortunately, we don't get the Ninkata, but it's fine. This guy dies to being breathed on, so. Oh no, another one. Is this a Night March deck? This might be a Night March deck. Fellas, this might be a Night March deck. Nope, I don't know what you are. Revenge Blast, 30 more damage for each prize card I've taken. Well, it kind of just one-shots my Mew anyways. Dowsing Machine? What are you going to get from your discard pile? Another Nest Ball. Oh, scary. Oh, man. This man and his Nest Balls. Uh, if that's a Sycamore, I'm going to cry. But I get a feeling that it is. I really don't like Cramorant. Yeah, it's a Sycamore. Called it! You suck. How? What? Oh. Hmm. Yep, that adds up. Game three! <laughs> Sometimes that just happens. Um, not a lot you can do about that. Uh, really, there's nothing I could have done about that. No, they just kind of... <laughs> Oh, I don't think I could have. I don't think I could have won that game. It was lost from the moment he had a sycamore in his hand. Goodness gracious! Call the flip tails. I won. I go first. Yes. Please give me a Ninkata. Well, it gave me a Ninkata. I was kind of hoping I'd get a Mew as well, but I didn't specify that, so I can't get mad. Oh, they're probably gonna have some like fire type Charizard. Oh, this. Oh my God. Okay. Well, I know what we're dealing with now. Acrobike. Get a Mew, get a Mew. No, I already have a frozen city. We'll take the Goose, ma. The Goose. The Goose, Goose. Um. Should have taken the supporter, but. We live and we learn and we learn nothing. They're gonna attach a DCE and win, I think. Winona, okay. Colorless Pokemon. Oh God, Togekiss V. Yeah, that's GG's brother. Yep. Well, like I said, the deck's fun, not good. So, uh, thank you all for watching. I do stream. Uh, on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, so come by there if you want to watch me play some of these dumb decks. Um, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want to get more, subscribe, like. You don't have to, but I'd appreciate it if you did. Uh, according to YouTube statistics, nobody subscribed. Zero people. Not a single subscriber. I'm kidding. Um, obviously. But if you're watching this, you probably haven't subscribed. So... I'm gonna guilt trip you.